um, is when you join the office, um, Scott Leroy, is, you know, our, our marketing guy, uh, tech guy, he, his team sets you up with a website and it's a real basic website. It's IDX website and it's on, uh, I'm going to share my screen now so you can see it. Okay. Um, give me one sec. Uh, where's my share screen button? Okay, there we go. Can you see that okay? Yes. All right. So if you go to the KW Calabasas, oh, not dot info, we want dot com. And you go to our agents. This is where you're going to show up. So let's see, Mark, remind me your last name. McKinney. McKinney. Let's see if they activated your website yet. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. Um, there you are. Oh, and there's your photo. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So let's go to your website. All right, tishmanestates.kw.com. Cool. Oh, I still so. can't find me. I'm still looking, but uh, <laughs> man, how many agents do they have? Is it like a thousand? Uh, three hundred something. Wow. Okay. Oh, it looks like they already got your logo up too. That's great. Okay, and then you'll notice here if you click on this drag down, there's a um, an about me. There's a download my free mobile search app and a contact us, right? And then it's got a few of your links to your Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, right? Okay. So I'm going to share with you right now um, just a sheet that was created that kind of walks you through how to add other features. So Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get to it so I can follow along with you. Okay, cool. Well, don't worry about it because you don't you're not going to do the changes from your website. You're going to do it from command. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, okay, and I'm gonna put this link so you can follow along in the chat of this Zoom. All right, just chatted that to you. Okay. Oh, and Christine Wheeler's here. Hi, Christine. Hi, Andrew, where are hey, you? Good, good. Hey, I just put in the chat feature, um, if, since you're just joining us. Uh, Website 201 notes, um, so you can kind of see how this works uh, and follow along, okay? Um, Where are we supposed to be, though? I, I don't even know. Um, where's well, the chat? I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to go to agent.kw.com and log mm -hmm. into command. Okay, there's nothing in the chat, by the way, because when I sign on late, I can only see what's afterward. Oh, so gotcha. Let me do it again real quick. Okay, thank you. Yep. There you go. All right, so Mark, if you go to agent.kw.com. Okay. It's gonna ask you for your KW login and password. Um, and I gave you those in your welcome email and then Scott Leroy also gave you those in your um, Color Cloud setup complete email. Well, that's going to get you into command. Okay, I'm logged in. You're good? Okay, cool. So I'm using Marcia's today because we're going to upgrade her website for her. Um, and okay. Did you want to wait for Christina to log into hers? Uh, Christina, are you good? Hi, hi, I'm in my own command. I didn't need that. If that's, we're in command, right? I don't need that Google yeah. link. I'm in my okay. own command. Yeah, I'm in my own command. Okay, cool. So first off, we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to click on the little name there, right? 
Okay. And we're going to go to settings. And first, we're just going to make sure our marketing profile is good to go. So um, if to get to your marketing profile, you're going to go to connect settings and then marketing profile. And this is how the outside world sees you from all of the kind of command interfaces. So um, you're gonna start and you gotta make sure your photo, your, um, oh, there's Monique. Hey, Monique. Uh, so Monique, I'm gonna put in the chat um, the link to the document. Uh, but this is also being recorded, so you can always uh, follow along later, okay? Um, all right, so first off, you're going to want to make sure your photos, and now this one, it's pretty specific, 360 by 360 pixel or smaller. So Marsh is good here. Now, if you have a team logo, you're going to want to put that in here, and it says that that's 360 by 360 also. Don't worry about it. It's not. That's a lie. Um, but then you would just upload those, right? Now, from here, you're going to put in all your details if they're not already in. Um, and it says enter a team name. Now, Marcia, her website right now, if we go to it, and I'm going to bring it up so that you can see the updates live. So there she is. Um, so let me go back and go to her website. Give me two seconds to find hers. Hey, oh, there she is. Okay. On a separate thing, that thing you just went on, that's the Calabasas website, right? Yes, yes. So I had already said something to Stephanie, but that needs to be cleaned up really, because there's a lot of agents on there that are no longer with us and haven't been with us for a long time. So that's just a heads up about cleaning that up. I don't know if you can do it or. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll take a look at it. That's something usually we, when we, they off board uh, should be taken care of. So I'll, uh, I'll send a note to Scott, uh, the agents that aren't there. So thank you. Um, okay, so this is Marsha's uh, website right now. Um, and you can see it says your agent right here, right? Um, so if we go back to team name here, we can put in her name. So I always recommend putting something. If you have a team name, you can put that there. Um, but then what's going to happen once we update that this is that's going to change this and it won't say your agent, it'll say Marcia Garcia. Okay. Um, so let's see if you want to put a slogan, you can do that. Um, what else? This is a bio that she has. And actually, she just emailed me a new bio. So I'm going to upload this into that section. All right. Cut and paste, boom. Oop. Okay, check the spelling, good. All right. And let's see, mobile phone, office phone. You don't have to put that in there. A lot of agents um, will just put their cell phone as their office phone. Uh, but if you want the office phone, you know, for Keller Williams Calabasas, you could put that there. Um, if you want to put the fax, you can. It's uh, same number, but 6501 is the fax. Um, email there and her KW website. So the broker logo, um, does everybody have the broker logo already uploaded into this spot? Y'all see that there? Scott Leroy should have uploaded it for you. If not, let me know and I can show you how to get that. 
Um, but then this is all your market center info. Um, and then the compliance, the legal footer text, this is something Keller Williams always requires. It says each office is independently owned and operated. Um, and then it looks like Marsha right now has a Facebook page and an Instagram page for her social media links. Uh, but you can add up to, looks like five there. All right. So then from there, we're gonna save that. Uh, oh, it says agent slogan is required. I haven't seen that one. Um, yeah, that one is new and it came up. I just made up one myself, but that's, that's yeah. new. So I'm gonna, since Marsha is on here, oh, at least she was, I'm gonna just type in for all of your real estate needs pretty generic and then we will save that right okay it says your marketing profile was successfully saved now we can look here and i'm going to refresh this let's see what happens there it is see the team name now it says marcia garcia and down here facebook instagram all of that um so we're looking good okay so we want to add more of these guys here right so what we're going to do is go back to command and we're going to go down on the left hand column if you expand this you can see it says consumer so if you click on that These are the three pages. Oh, we got Joseph joining us. Okay, so we're gonna hit create new page. And it's gonna ask you as a landing page or on my agent site, it's always gonna, well, not always, we're gonna go on our, on my agent site and hit create page. Sorry, Andrew, I already lost something. Are you, is this if we don't have it? Like my, my page is complete, what we just went over. I'm, mine's good. Do I need, is this something different? Well, yeah, so we're gonna add right now, um, we can start with, uh, let's start with, um, Let's start with the mortgage calculator, okay? All right, so, and actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do something easier. Let's do the... Um, are we supposed to be on this, sorry, are we supposed to be on this Google Doc? Well, I'm just looking at the Google oh. Doc to reference it, so you're okay. You can pull it up if you want to read it, because this is basically the step-by-step -step instructions. Um, I'm trying to find, let's do the mobile search app, search app first, because this one's really easy, okay? So we're gonna go here and, and I'm gonna just drag this over. And you see these little guys on the right? Um, those are the widgets. So it says here, download my app. We're gonna just click and drag that over and boom, we're done. <laughs> and we have to give this page a name. So we're gonna title this Download my app. Sorry, Andrew. I I'm already lost. I, I'm not a good learner on on Zoom. I, okay. how do get to, I don't know where the console is. I don't even know how to get the page that you were dragging to. Oh, no problem. Let me show you again. Hmm. I can go through this and one more time. So we're going to go save changes, and we're not going to publish it yet. Um. Okay. 
So there it goes. That's download my app now. So the way you're going to get to it, Christine, is on your home page of command, you're going to go down to consumer and click on that. And then this is going to show all the site pages. That's these guys right here in this little drop down menu. Um, all the options, right? Okay, I we're see. Trying, that. We're trying to add to these options. Mine don't have the words. Mine just have the picture. So that's why I'm like, what are those things? Okay, now I figured out what it is. Okay. Okay, you got it. Okay. So yeah, um, to make the words expand, you just click on that little red box to make it expand on the left. All right. So uh, so now we have download my app. That was pretty easy, right? Um, so now we are going to add a mortgage calculator. So I'm going to go over here and create another new page on my agent site, create page. Okay. And we're going to title this mortgage calculator. All right. And then, now, this part's a little tricky. We're going to drag that same widget of download my app here, because it has to have a widget in here, right? But there's more. We're going to do content blocks. And then we're going to click on text, OK? And we're going to just drag it over. And you can see it highlights if it wants to go up below this or above it. So we want it above, right? So now I've created a little text box. OK, so if you go back to that Google Doc that I shared with you under the mortgage calculator section, there's some text here, right? So all you have to do, you guys are going to feel like computer programmers when you're done, is copy this, right? And then go back, paste that text in, OK? And highlight it. Oh, wait, we're going to delete that insert your text here. I don't want that. OK, we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to click this little guy right here. OK, and you know what? That didn't turn out. Oh, there it is. OK, there you go. So you just created a mortgage calculator on your on your website. All right. Hey, Andrew, <laughs> a question. Yeah. I, when I go to my consumer page, <clears throat> I have all these things there already. <clears throat> so that means and it looks like it's from April 2020. So I'm guessing mortgage calculator, download my app, what's my home worth, leave a review, all that stuff, because it's showing on this page created. That means it's already on my website. Is that correct? It is. OK. I don't even know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. OK. All right. So you're good to go on those. Um, there may be a few others. And I can actually also show you how to create some custom pages if you want. Um, so let's see. Um, great schools is another one. So we're going to go to this site right here, greatschools.org slash widget. So if we click on that, OK, we're going to choose our city that we're specializing in. So we're just going to say Calabasas. I hope Marsha is OK with that. Marsha, are you cool with Calabasas being your city? Yes. OK. And that's going to ask for your email. So. Um, Let's see here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to copy. That. Paste. And then it says enter the website URL where this widget, where this widget will be hosted. So we're going to have to go back to her website URL and copy this exactly. 
go back here, paste that in. I agree. Get widget code. Boom. Copy that. And we're going to go back to command. And we're going to create another new page. Remember, here we're on consumer on my agent site. And we're going to call this one. What are we calling this? Great schools. Oh, sorry. Okay. So the title of this page is going to be Great Schools. And we're going to have to drag another widget over. Um, it says you can use the agent profile widget. So we're going to do agent profile here. OK. Now, it says once you're happy with the layout, you can tailor your widgets by clicking configure widgets in the sidebar. So we're going to click configure widgets and click on that. Okay, so we like the picture. The page title, we're going to call great schools. Um, role and company. Uh, Oh, you know what? We're going to call it local school search. Role and company, we're going to call it search for schools in your area. So this is going to go here. Great schools in your area. Okay. And then bio title. Um, let's see. We're going to copy this again, this code here. And where it says agent bio, we're going to paste that widget code in there, right? Now, if you notice here on this, it says make sure you center it. So we have to type in this little bit of code at the end, and I'll show you why. But we're going to click Save and Apply and see what happens. So you got a map right here and here. Now, this isn't centered. So all I'm going to do is add in that last little bit of code, Center. Save and apply. Oop, and I'm going to do it at the beginning as well. And now it's centered. See that? All right. So she's got a school search now. Um, we're going to click save changes. Do we want to publish? No. All right. So now she's got great schools in her area, a mortgage calculator and download my app. Uh, she's also got about us and contact us and about me. So um, she's got a few pages that are live. Um, uh, we just need to publish them now. So I'm going to go here. Oh, wait a second. Forgive me, guys. Collections, no. Guide builder. Landing pages. Okay, yeah, so that's where we need to go. So we're going to go to agent site pages. 
right here. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Um, the last thing we need to do is publish these. Um, and I put that all off until the end because it's a little tedious. Um, and I want to do them all at once. And now I'm trying to remember how to publish these new ones. <laughs> there we go. So if you click on it to edit, and then you go to publish page. It asks you, would you like to continue to cite an app settings? So we say yes. All right. And from here, I want to use the new KW agent sites, submit. All right, so we, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna figure out how to publish really quick guys. Um, give me one more second. <laughs> I had this all set up. Thanks, Andrew. I gotta go. I'm gonna call you next week. Okay, sounds good. We we can walk through these individually if you want to next time you're in the office. So thanks for your patience. <laughs> no problem. I'm actually pretty good set up. I was gonna add the school. Um, and actually I see a feature you can actually add California if you want to be a little more broader. Oh nice. Because I work not just in Calabasas, so I'm gonna look for it. But anyway, thank you. Okay, yep. see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. All right, so we got the mortgage calculator publish page. Yes. Thank you, Andrew. See you tomorrow. Uh, oh, here we go. This is where it is. So we're going to go to add page. Then we're going to click on great schools. That's the new one that we just set up. So you hit continue. And then the page title. Uh, you have to type in stuff here as well. So where is the great schools? There we go. Local school search. That didn't pace very well. Okay, and then the URL slug. So when they click on that page, this is what is gonna show uh, on your website. That's what the slug is. Um, so we're gonna call it school search. And you can't have any other characters in this. So you gotta be careful with the slug. And then the description, this is for SEO purposes. So we're going to copy search for schools in your area. Um, save. Oh, I didn't like that. Save. Okay, so now if we go back to Marcia, 
we can refresh. And there it is. Local school search pops up on our website. Okay. Um, so you're going to walk through the steps for each of those. I, I can do that with you real quick. Um, uh, so we're going to go configure our site. Oh, cancel. Shoot. Collections. Basically the same process for each one. Um, mortgage calculator. Yes. Add page, mortgage calculator, continue. And then the page title is going to be on that same Google Doc I shared with you. Let's see, there it is. Okay. So mortgage calculator and mortgage dash calculator. So the page title is mortgage calculator and the slug is mortgage dash calculator. And then the SEO description is mortgage calculator to assist with the buying, home buying process. Paste that in there, save it, and we're done. That one's published. Um, and I think that's, do we have any more that haven't been? We did great schools, mortgage calculator, and download my app, I think was the first one we did, right? So download my app. For that one, okay. The title is going to be Mobile Search App, and the slug is Mobile Dash Search dash at and the SEO description is search homes right there. Okay. Paste that in, save, and Marcia now has if we refresh it, you can see mobile search app. All right. So, like I said, happy to help you guys do this individually. I, I know I went through it kind of fast, um, but I think it's great to, you know, it's a free website that Keller Williams creates for you uh, when you start here. Um, and it, it's easy to upgrade. Um, next class, I'm going to show you how to add custom pages just using a Google Doc. Um, so we can show like homes that you've sold. I mean, it's pretty much a free for all. Any page on your website you want to add, we can do that. Okay. Now, where can we find the recording of this later? Uh, yeah, I'm going to send it out on our YouTube channel and I'll email it to the office. And what's the YouTube channel? Uh, it's KW Calabasas Estates. 
I think I sent you a link to it in your welcome email, Mark. Okay. Um, I'll stop sharing there and I'm going to stop recording. Thank you guys.